This video will show you how to use the multifunction thermometer from Cooper Atkins. To turn the device on, press the power button. The display should reflect the temperature sensed by the probe. The green LED should start blinking, indicating that the device is ready to connect to the mobile app via Bluetooth. The device Bluetooth function will automatically be deactivated if no mobile device is ready for connection, and the LED will cease to flash. Push the power button again to reactivate the Bluetooth connection. The second button is called the record button. It is used to change the temperature scale from Fahrenheit to Celsius and vice versa. To change the scale, press and hold the record button for 3 seconds while the device is on. Take note that if you are on Fahrenheit, the temperature will be rounded off to a whole number. And when you are on Celsius, the value will be rounded off with a tenth decimal. The Bluetooth Reader app can be used as a mobile companion of the MFT. This app is available for download from the App Store or Google Play. It can reflect the temperature read by the MFT, update the device firmware, and is also for debugging purposes. Before launching the mobile app, make sure that the Bluetooth of the mobile device is on. Once the Bluetooth app is ready, press the power button of the MFT. The green LED should blink, indicating that it's ready for connection. Now tap scan on the mobile app, then tap the desired MFT reflected on the screen. The LED will flash with a blue light, indicating a successful connection. You can press the record button to log the temperature. You can also tap record to log through the Bluetooth mobile app. You can initiate a force sleep command to the MFT to save battery when not in use without terminating the connection to the mobile app. To do this, tap the force sleep button on the mobile app. The sleep icon will be reflected on the MFT. Tap the wake button to get out of sleep mode. The Bluetooth app can also update the firmware of the MFT. Tap the firmware update button at the mobile app. The hardware and firmware versions of the connected device will be reflected. Tap check for updates. Tap the available update if it is newer than that of the device. If you proceed, the app will download the data which will be sent to the MFT. The MFT will be softly and will return to the scan screen once the update is complete. Turn the device off by pressing and holding the power button until the display turns off.